Good morning, everybody. So, today we start prepping the wood to go up on the deck. I would have loved to use like cedar and stuff like that, but it's just because the deck's so big in the event of a rainstorm or something like that, that wood would absorb X amount of water and become extraordinarily heavy, and then we would face weight issues. But to address the weight issues, that is the number one comment and concern of this deck, that uh, we put so much deck on the weight on the roof that we're not gonna pass um, weight restrictions on the bus. And here's the deal. So we bought 600 pounds of metal and we're gonna put another, let's say, 400 pounds of wood. And that's, a, that's very conservative, I don't think it's that much. I think it's closer to like three, 200. Anyway, um, if it was a thousand pounds that we put up on top of the deck, that's like five people. So if I put five people sat on the roof, no one would notice. This bus is rated to carry 84 adults. So with 84 passengers on there weighing approximately 200 pounds, you get the drift of exactly 16,000 pounds of extra weight I can add. And there's no way in the world that we've put it even remotely close to that kind of weight inside the bus and on top of the bus at the, so far. We're not even close to that amount. Even wet, we're not gonna be close to that amount. So I'm not really that concerned. So just so you guys know, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. This is our wood that we bought and we covered in plastic and thank goodness we did because we got a, our first little winter rainstorm came through. You can see all the little ribs going across each one of those is measured out so that a seam will fall on a two inch piece. So I have something to screw into. We're putting a ton of screw into these things to make sure that this stuff doesn't blow off and kill a bus full of nuns and stuff. So that's the project today. The product we're using is called uh, Deck Correct. And it's a product that we got at Ace Hardware. And it's a water-based product, so I was a little bit um, dubious but I went to the store to get some groceries and as I was opening up the side doors on the campulence one of the cans of paint fell out and it didn't come up open all the way but some sloshed onto the ground and so I quickly picked it up and I and I thought you know what I'm just gonna leave that there I'm gonna come back and check on this stuff and see how well this stuff toughened up and so this morning I, I drove in and it was still on the ground there and I checked it out and it dries like a hard rubber. So I'm feeling pretty good about the choice of uh, paint we got and hopefully we've got enough. Um, they didn't, they only had seven gallons in stop. I think we needed 10 uh, by spec. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So, but that's the, that's the project today. And one more thing is the run across the deck is, is 93 and three quarter inches. And so while the deck is supported every two feet uh, longitudinally um, across, it's, you know, those pieces, those are long runs for that metal. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a support in the middle that uh, supports the uh, metal going across right down to the, the roof of the bus. And this support will then rest on the uh, ribs of the bus and provide so there's no bending. We're only gonna do it in the front section here where, where foot traffic is gonna be. In the back is where the solar is gonna be and there's gonna be much, much, much less foot traffic up there and any foot traffic will be oriented towards the side of the bus. So there really won't be that much bowing occurring there. my gosh it's like gravy yeah this goes pretty quick except when there's a lot of defects in the wood so I have to fill them all 
just smushing it in. This stuff is pretty cool though. Yeah. Hopefully it dries really good. I'm trying to stretch the black, but because yeah. it's not as critical as the sand color will be. Right, there was only three cans left, so we only got three cans of the black. Yeah. But it looks like it's going good because the first can did all four of these sheets. Round five, ding ding! Yeah. Oh, kitty, yoga is going on over there. There it is. We gotta get this into every single little nook and cranny in here because if we don't, then water will get into the deck and infiltrate into the, the layers of the plywood and cause the plywood to start delaminating and it will vex me. <laughs> and I'll lose my mind. I know some of you are probably freaking out that we're painting our deck black right now. But I promise you, this is not the color of the deck. This is the color of the underneath side of the deck. So that when you look up from the ground and you're looking up at the bottom of the deck, it will just kind of blend in with um, the black cross beams and everything. The top of the panels will be a light tan color. I think it's, what is it? The top of the panels will be desert sand. Let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown Well, I don't know about that But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said, well I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing For the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that mm -hmm. I don't know about that <laughs> See, this is the color of the top of the deck. Much nicer, right? Whoa. Root. Oh, you have an even skinnier one. Yeah. You had a trove of hidden treasures. I did, true. Break out with the good stuff, man. Looking around here, you think? Sure, she's got two of them. <laughs> oh, the second coat's going on so nice. It's like the first coat, I could still see wood. Yeah, <laughs> in places, huh? It was like patchy. Yeah. Ready? Whether I am or not, you've been more than fair. That's right. Round 76. Ding, ding. This looks like amazing. <laughs> you keep looking over there just admiring it. They just wow. look like clean pieces of plastic. Pristine. 
dang, it's first thing in the morning and Mike's already at it out here. Right. I was thinking of finishing this bus this year. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> I like your tactic of just filling it up because I'll come back and roll it right after you do that. And it'll leave all the stuff in the crack. Yep. I've been doing crack for two days. Two days straight. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> Schwab in the deck. <laughs> Schwab the deck, matey. <laughs> so some of these shoots of plywood have these gaps and cracks along the edges, which would be a disaster to get water in. So we're trying to completely fill those little crevices. And this one keeps opening. Yeah, gravity is not being your friend. Now, if we can't get enough product to stay, and especially the big crevices, like over here, the crevice is so big and so deep that I don't think we would be able to get the product deep enough in there and it wouldn't stay, it would run out. So I think we're gonna fill that one with caulking. She should keep this handy for all the holes. Yeah. Just ourselves. Uh, this one them. needs a little bit more. It didn't completely seal and up there too. Yikes. That looks good. Now you got it. Okay. Oops. That is going to be waterproof. Yes. The last step we do will be like the next step after this. We just bring it back up there, open up the black we have left, mm -hmm. and roll the edges. Yeah. Guess what time it is? Uh, cha -cha. Dun, dun, dun. I didn't get it onto the surface. I just got it all the way on the edge. Oh. These are my painting pants from now on. Your cute painting pants. Bring it. Come at me, bro. Yeah, friendly. This is kind of fun because it's so easy. Yeah, it just makes a huge difference. Yeah, it's so rewarding because you uh, fix the problem so quickly. I wonder how many times we have touched, picked up, and carried each one of these sheets of plywood. All of them. So many times. I know. So many times. I was like, oh, that pothole needed some extra in there. Knot hole. <laughs> the pothole is not a knot hole. A knot hole is not a pothole. I can make my own, what are those called? Tongue twister. Hi, paint buddy. Hello, paint buddy. 
Let's call some friends over for a game of poker or so. Well, I don't know about that. Or should I turn on the TV or the radio? Well, I don't know about that. But there's a whole list full of all the things we can do. But I want to do none. Wish that you did too. So you can just keep trying and I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing For the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that Touche. I challenge you to a duel. A duel of rollers. We roll to the death! Oh, crazy, 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 to crazy, the crazy, black. Crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, black. Dude, if you had been wearing a shirt I didn't like right now, I would have just started rollering you. <laughs> <laughs> would have been so funny. Oh, it's only because Betty gave us that shirt, and I really like Betty. Yes. Betty's the bomb. Okay, are we done? Did we just like use up our paint at the exact same time we're done with everything? Yep. It never happens. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we gotta wash up, huh? Yeah. One more time. The aftermath. You're climbing with your hands full. I know. I could do it. Maybe. If I can't, we'll know real quick. or something? Mm -mm. Well, one, actually, there's one up here. So we'll zap this one in. Then we'll use the clamp to keep it from moving in the next go round. Hey, now, but I don't think I can make go round. That'll hold that piece of wood forever and ever. You know, it, it it's not like it's. Whoa! That's it. The neighbors blew up. That's too bad. One less neighbor. I don't hate that neighbor. I hate the noise that neighbor makes. You okay, Mike? <laughs> well, judging by his silence. He's deaf. <laughs> Oh, no. It didn't sound like a gun. I don't think it was a gun. I know, it was just a bee potion. But I didn't hear anybody freaking out afterwards, so yeah. I guess no, it's okay. No screaming to go exactly, with it. Exactly, exactly. So that's positive. Whoa! <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not the only person that's done that. <laughs> I just fell off the uh, rail on my booty. <laughs>
and there it is. Cross beam. Cross support. Cross beam support something. Right. Resting on ribs and stuff. Rather than resting on its laurels. With rubber protection. <laughs> right. We put the rubber on the wood of our huge deck. Into my bed and under my skin. Oh, where will it end if I let it begin? It's trickle treat. You know life's too short. So let's not waste another minute. You could feel a little play in this one. Only in, yeah. Nothing in nothing that. Nothing in that. It's going to be so nice when the wood is out. We've never been able to walk all over this roof. I know. You can only walk on about a three foot wide, you know, space up here. Yeah, because it's too slippery otherwise. Like from, from my foot to my foot in between is the whole, the only walking space up here with the curved roof. Yep. You go any farther than that, you feel like you're going to fall off for sure. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to paint X's at the end of this so planes don't try to land on it. <laughs> Look how dirty it gets up here. I can't believe it. We're going to have to be coming up here and cleaning our skylights and stuff. Mm. Well, we'll have the perfect deck for doing that. Yeah. Easy peasy. We'll just raise the solar panels right here. Yep. And then I'll be out. Oh wait, the solar panels will protect it. It won't get so filthy. I'll be up here cleaning the solar panels and that's the truth. That is the truth.